I am standing in the middle of a frozen lake and I'm gonna be doing a solo overnight right here. Oh no. I mean, just look at this ice. It's everywhere. First thing I gotta do is get all of my gear and get it set up here on the lake, which that's actually a challenge in itself because the ice, if you're not standing on the snow, very slippery so I gotta go slow but I also want to go fast because it's cold out here I want to get set up ASAP my stuff I still have like one more load from the car I have to get situated ah I have to attach the tent to these rocks over here it's the only chance of survival gosh where did I do this the only rope I have is this awning like I can't even I can't I don't think I can leave the tent it'll blow away there's no chance whoa look at this sick dolly all right come on guys let's go over towards the rocks and see if we can set up a better campsite. Holy cow! Oh, look, it wants to go to the rocks anyway. Holy cow! Oh, no, 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 no. I think it might zip jump from 10, maybe. If I zip it up, it won't be such a wind. Whoa, holy cow! Somebody help! Look, the whole reason for these solo overnights is so I or whoever's doing the solo overnight can connect with you guys, the viewer. You watching this, you're the only friend I have out here. And right now I sure could use a friend. <laughs> Just don't leave, okay? I need you. Oh shoot, it completely, no. Well, there goes the only chance of survival. It blew away right out of my hands. Shoot, big yikes. I'm inside the tent. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Um, The tent is trying to blow away. And the only way I think it won't blow away is if I'm in the tent. And my camera is still out there. What I really need to secure this to the rocks right here. If I could anchor this tent down to the rocks, that way I don't blow away. The only problem is I don't think I have any rope. And I already inflated the tent. Oh gosh, this is the worst. I'm already running into the first challenge of it being a solo overnight. Like if there was two people, that would make this so much easier. One person could just sit in the tent while the other person makes sure it doesn't blow away. But as of right now, if I get out, this thing is flying down the lake. I can't even get my camera. <laughs> what have I done? No. Currently I'm trying to think how to make this work because as of right now, there's no way I mean, look at the ice, guys. I'm trying my best to make it work exactly how I planned and how I thought it would work in my mind. I think the only solution is going to be, we have to, I can't be on the middle of the lake anymore. There's no chance. So I have to, I think, deflate and then go to someplace 
less windy and anchor down for real. So I'm still gonna try and do it on the lake. It just, I mean, look at this. I can't stay out here. I'm gonna blow away. Next mission, get back to shore for safety. That's all that matters right now. I cannot blow away. My butt is frozen. I've been sitting sitting down in the ice. Just think how cool it'd be if there was no wind and I could just sit here. But the wind, that, that's what we have to deal with right now. That's our that's our boss monster. If we can beat the boss, we can holy cow, I'm moving around. <laughs> oh no. Are you serious? I don't think I can transport with it blown up because it's just gonna sail me around. See, I'm already I'm already a sail and I'm already, and I'm in here. Stop it! I'm in here. Stop! Holy cow. The wind may actually be getting worse. At this point, can I even make it back to shore? <laughs> I only brought like one load, cause it's like, oh, I'll just set up and then I'll go back, get the rest. But that was a horrible idea. If there was any way to bring it all in one load, <sighs> dang it. <laughs> all right. I gotta deflate. <sighs> Whoa, okay. We should be deflating. here <laughs> I think we can get back like this it's a pretty cool shot though right all right ice truckers let's go I think I'll make it. I think I can make it. Oh, guys, don't worry. Uh, okay, you're okay. Currently driving to a different lake. Hopefully it's frozen. I mean, I'm going higher up into the mountains, so it should be frozen, but uh, it's just funny how you can have a plan and no matter how much you plan, there's always something that can go wrong. So I did not expect it to be that windy to the point where like I can't even get out of the tent. It was just blow away. So hopefully this next spot will be doable and less wind. I'm hoping because it's like surrounded by trees and frozen maybe, we'll see. Update, I drove to the next lakes and all the access to the lakes are closed because there's so much snow. My next option, I found this other lake that's about 40 minutes away and I was thinking about driving there, but then I pulled up the weather and there's a winter storm warning basically for everywhere. But in particular, this spot feels like negative 17 right now and it's still daytime. So that's cold. Right now it's 10 degrees outside here, which is still super cold, but negative 17, are you nuts? Here is the final plan. I found a spot here that's flat, and I'm gonna set up the tent, and I'm gonna do the overnight. I just really wish I could have done it on the lake. I could drive back down, I got some rope. I could drive back down, I could anchor it to the car and basically be on the shore, but it's, it's like so windy down there. It's like, oh, it would be so tough. So I think I'm gonna set up right here. It's not as windy because there's trees around. It's still a little breezy. It's definitely colder up here, but I do have a lot of cold weather gear, so I am prepared, but this is gonna be our overnight spot. I did this in a previous video uh, last year sometime. I took a camera. It was just one of those Kodak disposable ones, but I took pictures all throughout the video. Once the video was over, I was get, uh, duh. There's lack of oxygen up here. I finished the roll and then I got the pictures developed and it was just, it was really fun. And then I took the pictures and everyone that left a comment, I, I, there's like 36 pictures. If you leave a comment, I picked one person for each photo and I sent it to them in the mail, autographed. So I wanted to do that again on this solo adventure. I'm already up to five pictures. I'm gonna keep getting a whole bunch. So if you want one of these pictures, leave a comment down below. It's just super fun. I'll take a picture of you guys for the memories. That could be yours. Uh, uh, table and a blanket. All right, 
I think that's everything from the car so I can start setting up inside here. I wanna get everything in here first instead of coming in because I wanna take my shoes off so I can get snow everywhere. One really cool thing about this tent is it's got this little thing outside for you to take your shoes off. So the dirt stays right there. Or the snow. Speaking of snow, I know it's definitely not the warmest to sleep on the snow. It does feel pretty nice though. It's pretty soft, but it's gonna get very cold. So thankfully, number one thing I packed was a cot to get me off the ground. I was planning on being on the ice, but it's fine. Ice, snow, it's the same thing. <laughs> uh, okay, just gonna figure out where the cot goes. Oh, where's the cot? Interesting. All right. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey. <laughs> I feel like everything I got was orange. Like even this. I'll show you this later, but this is like orange too. Why did I get everything orange? Anyway, it's time for one of the main events of cold camping. This is like a heated camping pad. This is gonna be insane. I wanna see how warm it gets. <laughs> but this side goes towards the top. Whoa. Don't worry, I do have a generator. So I plug this in, put the sleeping bag up here. And this sleeping bag is rated to negative 20. So should be fine. <laughs> Look at that. That is so nice. And then, just for aesthetics, just this nice blanket for over top. All right, got a little chair set up. And look, it's a little table, so I can do, I don't know why it's so unstable. It kind of makes me nervous to cook on it. <laughs> um, but that was the idea, at least. Other than that, I think the tent is set up. There we go. A beautiful lamp hanging there. And another one hanging over here. One thing I do want to do is maybe go explore a little bit before it gets too dark. Since the campsite is set up, kind of just want to see what all is around, um, which could be fun. Okay. One thing I packed was my Jace 2 backpack because this thing is excellent to bring on adventures. Let me show you some of the stuff I usually bring. I've got my gloves in here, but really important thing is my slippers so these things i can wear like inside the tent and keep my feet warm before we go exploring i'll put that on because my feet are starting to get a little cold yes and this front patch here i've been trying to get better at making like a go-to pack setup so survival first aid kit this jbl speaker this thing is so lightweight it's just a good thing to bring in the pack all right i've got some phone chargers some lipstick where is that not lipstick ah some chapstick <laughs> Your lips can be chapped out here in the cold. Mm, good thing to have in the bag. I brought something for work later. I got this set up. Little Mr. Heater Buddy. This one says it's safe to use indoors. So I got this other one though. Looks really cool. So I'll have to use it at night, but it's this propane fire can. You hook up the propane right there. And it's got like a little portable fire, which you probably won't do inside the tent. Maybe right out front of the tent. That would look cool at night. I'll do that. But this is a really cool find. I don't know how to put it back on. Ow! It's time to go on that adventure. Let's we'll see what there is to see. I'm gonna bring the camera, snap some pictures, and yeah. Man, my breath. Probably not gonna go too far into the woods, but on the weather app, it sent an alert and it said the next storm will be a nasty, snowy, severe mess. So I'm hoping that that doesn't happen tonight, that it's just cold. Cause if it's like a blizzard or something, oh jeepers. I think I can deal with the cold, I think. I'm pretty well set up. Oh. a cool stick house oh geez the snow is so deep oh man that's cool though forgot to mention all the pictures i'm taking on the film is with expired film so i'm hoping it turns out but only one way to find out and yeah, my fingers are starting to get cold i just wore like my base layer gloves and i forgot the bigger gloves in the tent i wonder what the temperature actually is right now 
Can you see what temperature that says? I just dropped my phone in the snow, dang it. I think I said it was like, I don't know, seven, seven degrees. Maybe like in the negatives tonight, I think. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> just the idea of solo overnight challenges. It's pretty fun. It's fun because it's different than what we usually do. Because Justin did one and obviously it's my turn. And then guess what? Isaac is filming his right now, same day. But he's at a completely different part of the state. He's hours away from me. All I'm thinking about is like if he was here or if Justin was here. <sighs> Oh man, that's all right. Being alone can be fun sometimes. So just trying to embrace it. Mm. Oh, get in here. So my phone says that in the wind, it feels like negative 10, which if I was still out in the middle of the lake, that would have been horrible. <laughs> Switch into this nice sweater. Man, I'm still like bummed that I didn't get to do the actual lake. I tried, tried my best. So maybe in the future, if you guys still really want to see overnight, on a lake, we'll make it happen. This is just such a hard weekend to do it. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Venture Club beanies, jsuchop.com. Come in clutch. Ah, this, turn on, yes. This one seems way darker though. What I wanna do is I bought some specific food materials to make a fun snack that, I don't know, it's a super, I don't know what I'm saying. It's a fun snack. You can make it at home if you want. Very easy. The snack I wanted to make, I realized you kind of need an oven for. I got these little crescent rolls. You put a string cheese in it with some pepperoni and they're basically like little bite-sized calzones. And they're super yummy, but unfortunately, I don't think it'll work on the little stove top. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Let's, Arrgh. Dude, the ground is so cold, no way. I'm so happy that I got a cot. That would have been like, oh, can't even imagine how bad of an idea that would have been. I don't know if there's an on button. I'm just pushing plus, plus, oh wait. There we go. Let's just set it for 10 hours. Let it warm up, see how it does. Next on the agenda, I wanna test out the fire pit, but I'm doing that out front of the tent, not to cause any fires inside. Oh, real quick, get a picture. Nice. Last time I did this, I was taking pictures of Isaac and Justin and Rick and all of us together having fun. These are gonna be a little bit more lonely. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something, it's one oof after another. I really wanted to use this, it looks so cool. It's a little fire pit. And the guy said it came with an adapter to connect it to the smaller propane cans, but there's nothing in here. Ah, bah humbug. <laughs> Why, 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 why? Can't this just be normal? I just wanna have fun. Make a fire outside of my tent, yeah. Good thing I didn't get any supplies for s'mores or we'd be ultimate sad. Just have to use this on a different video. I guess I could make some hot tea. Tea supplies, yeah, tea supplies. We've got our tea supplies. Cinnamon apple spice. Sounds pretty good. My legs are cold. Oh! Woo! Woo! Whoa, this smells incredible. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like it's boiling. Let's get our cup ready. Ah ha ha. Tea bag. Oh, smell that. Oh. Oh, that's definitely boiling. Yes, sir. Hey, Why'd that come out so weird? Pretty nice in here. Gotta admit, it's gonna be dinner time soon, even though I was just talking about snacks. <laughs> I got something super easy for dinner. I'll just show you. Since we're talking about food so much, check this out. Some pulled pork. So I'm just gonna throw this right on the um, pan, simmer it up so it's nice and warm, and boom. Oh, you cannot make this up. Ow, it's so hot. How do you get these out? Look at the handlebar. It's a carabiner. So you could throw this on your backpack or whatever and just go with the flow. Am I gonna burn my mouth if I drink this? This is still too hot probably. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Now it's all over the tent. Nothing goes right when you're alone, okay? That's a new motto. <laughs> Okay, 
That was good. Not a whole lot went well today or as expected. And it just makes things worse being alone because you don't have anyone to bounce ideas off of, brainstorm solutions to problems. You just gotta figure it out and hope for the best. But I think this setup is not too bad. I mean, the tent's not moving at all. I can hear some wind outside, but it's not touching the tent 1%. So I'm thankful for that. I'm about to make some dinner. It's still chilly in here, but it's a lot worse outside. Like I'm, I'm comfortable. Even though it's negative 10 degrees outside, I'm pretty comfortable. <sighs> I'm just now looking at the camera and I think there's a self timer button on here. So I don't know how many seconds do you have before it goes off? Ah! That was a much better picture. Ooh, still really good. All right, let's start cooking dinner. Hmm, things don't be going so well. <laughs> Pretty hungry. <laughs> Doesn't. I've been trying this thing for a long time and I can't get it to ignite. I don't know why. <sighs> Barbecue pulled pork sounds so good right now. All I have are. Oh, where are they at least? Well, I've got our cliff bars, so I guess this is what's for dinner. Since this thing won't light, why? Give me a bar. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this thing is hard as a rock. <laughs> Forget it. Put everything away. I've had it. <laughs> I was gonna take a picture of my dinner. POV. You're eating cliff bars for dinner. I think I might start hunkering down, getting ready for bed. Um, there's not a whole lot else to do. <sighs> Except for one thing. I did bring one more thing. I brought my iPad to do a little writing. We have a JStew writing project coming out this year. And I was hoping to get a little bit written tonight, this crazy adventure. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that and then probably just go to bed. Not gonna lie, it's kind of spooky <coughs> out all by yourself, like in the woods. I'm going to sleep with my sweater on, but who knows, I need it or not. <sighs> oh gosh. All right, I think this is a good night. It's gonna be so dark when I turn off the lights. I don't like this. I want friends. Good lands. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna sleep with a little nightlight. Okay, well, good night everybody. See you in the morning. Oh, last night was very, very cold, but I'm glad I had this heated pad that helped a ton. Uh, it's morning now, obviously. <laughs> I don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> okay, I will. Where's my beanie? <gasps> Sheesh. Sweater. Sheesh. I can't do it. Jibber. Pretty early in the morning, but I did it. Solo overnight complete. I'm going home. 